Hey guys, welcome back to this um, trashy junk journal making series. So today we're going to create some embellishments in the journal as well as some um, tuck spots and um, pocket tags, add some ephemera. In the last video we did make, uh, we did add all the pages inside and we also did the inside cover. So what I did out of the camera is just adding some stamps and these are actually the stamps that I show you now several times. The ones that I got in the store Nuz. And I've added all of them in like once throughout the journal. So here's one. Um, there's another one here. A third one. Um, what else? Oh, there's another one here. And another one that I stamped several times. I added a pocket with this packaging actually. I also did that. And what else? I also took out some trims, some sari trims that I've got for so long now and uh, that I'm not using anymore. So these two I have left and I thought they went well with the theme, the kind of, yeah, pastel, girly-ish <laughs> theme. So maybe add one pieces or two that would stick out the journal like this. I have some punches out. Um, I don't have many punches actually. I have this one, this one, and where is the other one? Oh, here. This one to make tags. So that's that's nice. And yeah, I have magazine pages, magazine uh, magazines, and um, and just some random um, things like washi tape. Those washi tapes I'm not using. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna have fun and, you know, use some pretty washies that I got in different places over the years. Um, this one I already used, the mushroom ones. I love this one, actually. It's pretty cute. So, yeah, let's just start. And I think I'm gonna, I see this punch here, so I'm just gonna take a random page and create some punches. So here you can see the pretty punches here on this side. Um, we can... Let's just put these on the side. So I really want to add these. So let's see. Let's cut a little piece. And I've seen um, Anna's Chateau uh, on on YouTube. She also she inspires me a lot to create these trashy junk journals, and um, she also uses some sari trims in hers, and I think it's really nice. I'm actually gonna use this side, and I'm not gonna run a stitch through that because there are some gusts. Uh, pieces. I'm just gonna use some fabric textile glue. Yeah, like this. So here, and then a little bit on the other side. Okay, I added too much glue, so I'm just gonna stick something down. Do I have a little piece of paper somewhere? This is some trash, and I'm just gonna use that and actually create a little tuck spot maybe by adding staples like so I 
have this fun washi tape here. Let's just use that that one. And what I like to do is adding several lines of washi. I think it's like I did with this foil um, um, tape. So I'm going to add just a shorter line above, like so. Um, can we add a little sticker here? Or maybe a little gem in the middle? <laughs> because um, I do have some rhinestones that I'm not using in my journals anymore. And um, I have this whole bag here uh, that I don't know what to do with. Um, so let's see if we can add just one in the middle here. <laughs> this journal is a bit crazy already and very girly. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's just do that. Um, and the way I'm working in my journals, usually I, I just, you know, I just, I flip through the, um, the journal a hundred times, and then when I have got an idea, I just, or want to work in a specific um, spot, I just, you know, I just stop and. Um, work on that page. It's it's a bit new for me to work on camera, so I'm sorry if it's a bit uh, messy. And um, I will um, will get used to. I hope. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's put the journal aside just a minute and have some fun with these. <laughs> Okay, so we need 
some oops, random, yeah, some random piece of a magazine page. So I have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> just so you know. I just, I don't know, I just stick things down, I guess. I want to kind of create a center, like with an image, a centerpiece with a pretty image. Maybe. These come from a magazine that I purchased. Um, um, what is it called? It's it's an American magazine, U.S. magazine. Um, this I want to create a paper ruffle, if I can, because it's kind of heavy. That's going to be tricky. I'm going to staple that. <laughs> or maybe not with this one. Maybe somewhere, somewhere else in the journal. Let's see. Staple that. Okay, I'm not in frame at all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, this one is going here. This was a packaging for napkins, I think. Can you see that on the side? No, but that's okay. I can also put these up like so. And this is actually what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna trim these. I still want to see the cat, though. <laughs> yeah, let's add this one on top of this um, book page. Now what can we do with this? I guess we can create a, a pocket, a plastic pocket. Um, just securing it. I'm going to trim this and secure it with some stitches. It's very simple, but I mean, that could create a pocket if I stick it down with some double-sided tape. That could be a little pocket. Yeah, let's do that, so, um, okay, I'm just gonna run a stitch here, like so, and, um, use some double-sided tape that is somewhere. Yeah, okay, that's okay. 
I'm gonna add something here so it's sticking on both sides. Mm, why not a little, just a piece of random. I'm gonna add this as a tab and then use and punch a hole here just to create a yeah just a a little a little tab here so we have our little pouch there and so we can add something a tag that we'll be making or some other trash trashy things adding this one as well on this side this is a little tab here um, just to not put it in the trash. Let's just make a hole here and then we'll be able to hang something. Should I add a little eyelet here? Yeah, let's do that. I have some colors that I'm not using. So that will add a little the creative um, detail as well. Okay, um, what about this tag? Let's see what we can do. I wanted to add a ruffle here. So sorry if it's a bit random, uh, I usually work that way, like I, I would start something and then if I'm not, and then I will just start another thing um, and come back to the first thing and I don't know, I just don't really think about, I think about it and yeah, right now I'm just, I found this piece of paper and I wanted to create some uh, kind of paper ruffles like I did earlier with the, the scrapbooking paper the these ones are thinner but I thought maybe if I'm adding a little butterfly and even add something underneath to create a little cluster and this was wrapping paper that I got for Christmas and let's see if we maybe we could add a little piece of this packaging paper as well. I'm just gonna tear this again a little bit and run a little stitch onto this as well. Now onto the second one using another butterfly, maybe a different one like yeah this one and this time let's use some brown packaging with some pink um, wrapping paper. So let's stick that down. So these are the ones that I can use right now. And so this little piece of um, leftover from um, the inside covers and then I can add maybe a butterfly maybe this one no I like this one better
<laughs> why not? I'm just going to stick it down with a, a stapler. So you can still see that it's packaging. I could cover that. I could leave it. Um, for now, I think I'm just going to leave it. I kind of like that um, you can still see it's not... It's something that was repurposed. And um, let's see where it can fit. I'm going to put this one inside this envelope here for now. Maybe I'll move it around a little bit. Just taking some random pieces, cutouts from magazines. Um, I'm not looking for something specific. As I said, it's just random collages. And um, then, let's see, what is that? That's covering the cat, and that is not good. This is kind of fun, goes well with a cat, so let's just stick that down. Can we do something with this? And let's create a little tab on the side, maybe. No, I cannot fold it properly, so I'm just going to cut this. And make it as a tuck on the other side. That's so pretty. I think I want to. Mm, does that look good? I don't know. So I actually ended up um, covering the cat and adding this goose. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was so funny, so pretty. Um, I kind of like this tag very much. I did a stitch around to stick it down and to add some details. And I'm going to add a little ribbon here. Maybe that one, which is one I'm not really using either. But I also kind of like this brighter one, although it's more like a thick twine. Let's see. Like so. <laughs> okay, that's... That... Yeah, okay. It's not perfect, but I guess that will do for now. Now we're just gonna put this tag into the journal, and then I will stop this video and continue next time. But it's really a lot of fun making this, honestly. Um, let's see. I kind of like it here. Oh my god, you cannot see it. I'm so sorry. Um, I kind of like it on this page. So for now, I'm just going to clip this down. And I have some colorful clip paper clips that I'm not using in any projects. Uh, like reds and, uh, you know, just these bright colors. And so I'm just going to use this one red one and attach this tag. Well, that is getting messy. <laughs> Let's have a last flip before I uh, stop the camera, the film. Maybe I will bind it to ne for next time. We'll see. To 
kind of toy here. This is the tag that we made. Very simple and grungy and girly. <laughs> This here, this tuck. Here. Added some pages inside. We need to add something in this. In this too. And uh, that's that's the other way around. I also cut this this one so maybe we could add this somewhere quickly. Let's put it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, craft with me and being so patient <laughs> with me uh, while I'm doing, I'm trying to film craft with me with you. Um, I just need a little practice <laughs> and um, I will be back for a second part of this kind of craft with me session. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye.